and welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Hi kids, how are you today? Look at this beautiful scenery. Are you ready to draw and paint it with me? Fantastic! Right, we're going to start by drawing the sun. It's easy, just a circle with some rays. Now some curvy lines for hills and a rainbow in between two of them. Let's do a tree. How about some fruit in the tree? Just some little circles. A boat. And a house with a triangle roof, a rectangle door, a chimney, and some tiles. Some windows. Let's add in a river, some grass, There you have it, we're ready to paint. Yellow sun, a blue sky. You can of course use crayons, colouring pens, pencils or paint, whatever you prefer. It's going to be a beautiful scene. Okay, let's go for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, dark blue. Purple. You can choose whatever colours you like, it's your picture. Stick to a traditional rainbow if you want. We're going brown for the hills. That's it. Lovely. One more to go. Going around the house. Done. Green tree. It's summertime, you know. Going around those fruits very carefully. We don't want to colour those in green. That's it. You're doing a great job. Well, I would love to live in a house like this, wouldn't you? With a rainbow and the sun is shining and there's a river. I've got my very own boat. Red fruit. What do you think it could be? Apples. Fantastic. A brown tree trunk. Let's go for a lighter green for the grass behind the river. That's a great contrast to the brown mountains. We've got lots of brown and green. going around the house. Lovely. Wow, what a beautiful garden. Let's do around the tree as well on the other side of the river. Let's paint the house. A yellow chimney top, yellow walls. Lovely. Hmm, let's go for red tiles. Excellent. And the edges can be blue, blue windows, and a pink chimney and door. Perfect. How about some yellow and pink for our boat? Blue for our river. Wow, that's lovely. It's a darker blue than the sky. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. There's a land that I've heard of once in a lullaby. It is absolutely beautiful. Maybe you'd find it at the end of a rainbow. <laughs> Dark green for our tufts of grass, just like the tree. And there you have it. Perfect scenery. Hi kids. Look, a cute little owl. Let's learn how to draw it. Start with an oval shape. Keep it equal on both sides. An owl has very big eyes, so draw two big round circles. Next, the feathers. And ears. And the pupil. Draw a semicircle and the wings. Yes, just like that. Fill in the semicircle with wide U shapes. These are the feathers. Lastly, let's draw the feet. Let's give it a nice neat outline. Hello, Mr. 
owl. Time to fill you in with some lovely colors. Color in the body with the orange color. Keep going with nice neat strokes. Did you know that the color of owl's feathers helps them blend in with the environment? Let's color the ears now using a brown color. Color in the wings with brown too. Our drawing is turning out great! The rest of the feathers can be colored with peach. over the use with peach too. This makes the features stand out. Now let's finish off with yellow for the nose. And yellow for the feet too. The owl is complete. Great job kids. Hope you had fun drawing. Hi kids. Let's draw a chicken. First, let's draw three eggs. Now draw the nest. Just some curvy lines. For the chicken, first the body and the wattle beak, its comb and the eye. Super easy, isn't it? Complete the rest of its body with the wing and the tail too. What a cute little chicken! It's time to paint! Let's use peach for the nest. And eggs with grey colour. A pretty light pink for the face. and orange for the comb and wattle. Lovely! A yellow beak and grey eyes. 
reduce the dark grey for the body. Let's make the tail colourful and fun. Light green, pink, yellow, cyan, and blue. Yay! Hello cute chicken! Hope you kids had lots of fun. Hey kids! Look, it's our very own cute furry friend, a dog. Let's draw. Start with the face. And now the body and front legs. Easy and fun. A cute nose. And the big eyes. Let's draw a yummy treat for our friend. Don't forget the ears. And of course, don't forget the tail. Finish off with a nice neat outline. Amazing! And now we colour. Let's colour our dog a light brown. Hey little friend! Let's keep going. To our body now. Aren't dogs your favorite too? They definitely are mine. Let's colour his ears with a dark brown. The other one too. Almost done. For the nose, a slightly darker brown. And the tail.
Yay! All done. Isn't he the cutest little dog ever? Hi kids. Let's make a snail today. We will start by making the body of the snail with a hard round shell. the mouth and of course the eyes wasn't that easy now it's time to fill in colors in our snail let's use green for the body i love the color green it's so good yellow for the shell Let's use some red for the mouth and pink for the small tongue. Let's use a little of pink, light blue and red for the line. Dark blue, purple, green, pink and red for the line. There you go. A snail is ready to roam in the rain. Hi kids, are you ready for Halloween? Cuz we're going to draw a spooky and colorful bat. A face and pointy ears. Big round eyes. Ooh. The nose and a big grin Now comes the body the feet too and the super cool bat wings Wow wasn't that easy And now it's time to paint sparkly golden for the face purple for the eyes and red for the ears nose and tongue blue to complete the ears and light pink for the mouth and silver teeth yay Let's start with pink for the wings. Green will look great next. And now some red. Yay, it looks so great and spooky. Let's color the rest with blue. And purple too. And brown feet. Isn't this the coolest bat ever? Happy Halloween everyone. Ooh, it's a
spooky Halloween pumpkin. Let's learn how to draw it. A nose, the eyes and a big grin. And now let's draw the pumpkin. Just like that. And lastly, the stem. Why don't we draw some stars around the pumpkin? Just keep going. All around. It looks so good. Now, are you ready to paint? Let's start with green. And now blue. Then some pink. And red too. For the center, let's use some yellow. Purple smile. Fun and spooky. Red for the nose. And green for the eyes. And the stem too. Let's paint all the stars with different colors. First, yellow. Then, purple. Some with blue. Here comes the green. Some with red. And we'll finish off with some pink. This looks amazing! A jack-o'-lantern shining bright. Happy Halloween everyone! Hi kids! Let's take a trip to Fantasyland today because we're going to draw a unicorn. First, start with the body, the ears and a big round eye. Amazing! Now draw the forelock and the magical horn. Yay! Let's draw a majestic mane. And a small cute nose. Now a big curve for the rest of the body. The front legs And back legs. And finally, a big fluffy tail. We did such a good job! It's time to give our masterpiece a nice neat outline. Looking great! Keep going! Here comes the real magic. Let's color in. First comes purple, then red for the mane,
orange and some yellow too. A lovely green A darker green too And lastly purple How beautiful does our unicorn look? Let's use blue for the horn We can use pink for the hooves Aren't you having fun, kids? Let's color the tail now. Begin with a red. Then some orange. Yellow Light green And purple Yippee! Add some finishing touches with a lovely pink Here it is kids, the most magical unicorn ever. Hope you had lots of fun learning. See you next time. Look at this magical floating hot air balloon. Let's begin. A square for the basket. Two lines to connect the skirt. And a big balloon. Cover the balloon with lines. Time to paint. Start off with red and then green. Purple the color gold pink Cyan Orange Green And red again What a pretty balloon! Let's quickly complete it Sea green for the skirt and golden for the details. Yay! Ready to fly? Woohoo! This is magical! Here is our lovely hot air balloon. See you next time. Hey kids, look what it is! An ice cream van! Yay! Are you ready to draw it? Let's begin. Start with the wheels. Draw the van and headlight. Another wheel too. Tail light. The window. And the real magic ice cream. Let's make a roof. Front window 
and all the small details. Lastly, the big ice cream on top. This is how we know our favorite ice cream van is approaching. Time to paint kids. Start with pink for the truck. The color gold will look lovely for the window. some sparkly silver too. Bright green for the wheels. Some brown too. Cyan for the interior. green for the van roof, red for the tail light and the roof. Don't forget the headlight. Let's add some green to our roof too. The yummy scoops with purple, golden and red. for the cones and let's make the big ice cream chocolate flavored yum light pink for a cone and done look here goes our van to serve happiness with yummy ice cream Hope you had fun drawing an ice cream van.